Hey everyone, this is Ashley Marie. I create and style vintage fashion, hair, and makeup on my YouTube channel, Pin Up Doll Ashley Marie. Today I'm putting together a vintage look to wear to a holiday party inspired by the one and only style icon, the marvelous Miss Maisel, aka Mitch Maisel. She is my style icon. I love her and I want to be her. So hopefully you enjoy this look and get inspired by these outfits and this look as well. Without further ado, let's get started. We are first going to get started with hair. Now Midge's signature look is a pin curl bob, but what we're going to be styling today is sort of a bob. It is a page boy. Now you can style a page boy with a wet set or a pin curl set. However, I am going to use modern technology and we are going to style it with a three quarter inch hot tools curling iron. So we're going to start in the middle of the section and then work our way down until every strand of that section is in that curling iron. We're going to let it set for a few seconds, unwind, and then we're going to grab a pin curl clip and pin that curl, let it cool off. Once I'm done with that lower section, I then like to part the right side and the left side. Once I get the sides parted, I'm going to section my hair once again, and then we are also going to get one inch sections as well. I then am going to work on the back section, and we're just going to repeat the same thing all the way until we get to the crown of our head. Once the crown is complete, this top portion right here is going to be our bang section. Now I like to curl in the direction of where I want my bangs to lay. I like my bangs to go towards the left, so that is where I'm going to curl my hair towards. And voila, this is our hair pinned and cooling down. Moving on to makeup, I'm prepping my face with a facial primer. I'm now going to apply some concealer. I'm then setting my under eye with concealer and then moving on to foundation. So I'm first distributing that foundation. And then I'm taking a setting primer and just applying that over, just really wetting that foundation and then blending all that out into my skin. Once foundation is applied, I'm taking some setting powder and applying setting powder all over my face. I'm going to move on to eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I like to start off with a pencil, but of course Midge does not have that problem because she has eyebrows. Once I'm done drawing my eyebrows on, I'm going to take a mix of gel and powder and then carve my eyebrows out even more. I normally like to do a heavy eye look. However, I'm going to tone it down a little bit because Mitch does not wear a lot of eyeshadow, if any at all. I'm prepping my eyelids with an eyeshadow primer. I'm then going to take a light cream shade and highlight my brow bone. I'm then taking a transition shade and I'll be applying that with a fluffy brush. Once our transition shade is on, we are then going to take an even darker tan shade, deepen that color. Once that shade is complete, we're going to go in with a dark brown and really focus on the crease. So I'm taking a smaller thin brush and getting as close to my crease as possible and sort of mapping out almost like a cut crease, but not as dramatic. And then we're going to blend all of that out together. For this shade, I'm then taking a bright cream color and just really packing that on. To top off the eyeshadow look, because this is a holiday look, I wanted to amp it up a little bit and add some pressed glitter. Moving on to a cat wing liner. I'm taking this matte black liner. So I like to start at the outer corner and just really create that wing from there. I like to do a dramatic cat eye. So that is what I'm creating here. Now I'm taking a dark brown shade and only applying this on the outer lower corner of the eye. For lashes, I'm taking these beautiful wispy lashes and applying those. We are then going to apply some black mascara. For lips, I am outlining my lips with a dark berry color, and then I'm going to go in with a red lipstick and blend that dark 
berry color into my red lipstick. And this is pretty much the final makeup look. Once our makeup is done, we are moving on to hair. I first unpin the lower section and I'm taking a teasing comb. And we are just going to tease, tease, tease. After teasing, I'm then going to pin the end underneath. And then I'm going to take one section on each side and tease those sides as well. Once everything is unpinned, just run your fingers through your hair and really break up those curls. You want them broken up and fluffy. I'm taking these large pink duckbill clips and we're going to add these where we want the page boy to start. Once we have that set, we're going to take our comb and start combing the ends of those curls around that tease. This is what's going to create that clean page boy look. Once you get that hair smooth and polished, take some hairspray and just spray, spray, spray. <laughs> Once you spray that hairspray, grab your blow dryer and hit it with the blow dryer. This is really going to set the hairspray and not allow it to weigh down your hair. Once that's all set, we're going to move to our bang section. Here, we are also going to tease, tease, tease. Here, I'm taking my soft bristle brush and combing around. Now you don't want to comb through that tease. The tease is for the volume on the bangs. Once my bangs are looking good, I'm going to take some hairspray and start setting that. I am going to take a duck bill clip and apply this right here on my bang and this is just going to keep that volume in our hair while the hairspray sets. Now I'm going to start taking the duck bill clips out and you will see our new page boy. Go ahead and grab your teasing comb and just brush through where the duckbill clips are because you can see the indentations. We don't want those indentations. And now we're going to do the same thing with our bang. Take out the duckbill clip and just brush through it with your teasing comb. And this is our page boy inspired by Midge Maisel. And now the absolute fun part, the outfit. When I think of Midge Maisel and what she would wear, I think pink. This pink dress it is true vintage as soon as i saw it i knew this would be a dress that midge would wear as you can see there's this beautiful pink detail along the back of the dress but i improvised and i just temporarily glued some rhinestones to it and i actually really like the way that looks it's really going to tie in with my heels that i have picked out for this outfit i'm going to pair this dress with these pink vintage earrings. This next item is near and dear to me and it is this beautiful necklace that my late grandmother passed down to me and it's just so fitting that it goes so well with this outfit. Of course it had to be pink. Moving on to heels, of course I had to pair these true vintage 1950s lucite heels with this dress. It has these beautiful rhinestones in the front and then the clear strap. Of course, it's vintage, so it looks like there's wear and tear. And just look at these heels and this beautiful rhinestone detailing. Our next accessory for this look is our purse, of course. So I decided to go with my pink pillbox purse. This isn't vintage, but vintage reproduction. So now let's put it all together and create this smidge look. And here we have it, a holiday look inspired by the marvelous Miss Maisel. Now you cannot tell me this outfit is not marvelous and screams Midge, especially the pink. Thanks for watching this holiday party look inspired by the marvelous Miss Maisel. I hope you can use this styling video to inspire your holiday outfits this year and the years to come. And don't forget to watch the marvelous Miss Maisel on Amazon Prime. Once again, I'm Pin Up Doll Ashley Marie. Happy holidays, everyone! Dad, why'd you name yourself Richard? He was like, because I want to be rich. Did you wash your hands? Of course not. Oh my god! You ever use smoke? Same heart attack, different afterlife. Whoa, whoa, we were high five. Even if I did know where the Antichrist was, I wouldn't tell you we're on opposite sides. I rather enjoy being on fleek. <gasps> I eat a bug.